Come on down South Park and meet some friends of mine. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Dash Reacts. Let's check out the South Park episode, Cash for Gold. Let's do this. Well, Dad, it was really Grandpa. great seeing you. We'd love to stay for dinner, but the food here gives Sharon diarrhea. What? Randy? Shh, just trying to leave without being rude. Hold on, hold on just a second. I got a present for my grandson. Come here, Billy. Billy! Grandpa? He still calls him Billy. It's time for you to have something expensive and flashy to impress all the ladies. Oh, look at that! A bolo tie! Isn't that beautiful, Stan? That's 14 karat gold with turquoise and real diamonds! Do people still... Guess I'm not trying to be rude. Do people still wear bolo ties? I'm not making fun of you if you do. I just haven't seen a bolo tie in, in a really... Really, really long time. Grandpa, how much did you spend on that? Six thousand dollars. Six thousand? It's worth fifty thousand. The Jewels and Gems Shopping Network said so. Dad, oh, you no. shouldn't be spending your retirement money on frivolous things. You should be saving it for when you die. That's our money. It's gorgeous, <laughs> Dad. Thank you. Oh, and tomorrow's picture day at school. Stan can wear it for his photos. Oh, that's wonderful. Who's Stan? Cartman saw it. <laughs> saw it. Nice bolo tie, Stan. Bolo ties are really in right now. It's cool you have one. <laughs> Look, it was a gift from my grandpa, okay? And it costs a lot of money. No, dude, it's badass. It happens to be worth $6,000. It's a recreation of the bolo tie worn by King Henry V. Dude, it's fucking gay as fuck. Oh, no. I know. I really wish if my grandpa wanted to give me something, he'd just give me the money. Why don't you take it to one of those pawn places? Every two blocks you see a guy with a sign that says cash for gold and jewelry. There must be a lot of people doing it. Cash for gold. He's doing the sign spin. It's 14 karat gold, diamond, and turquoise. I'll give you $15. Oh, man. That cost my grandpa $6,000. Those are real diamonds on the outside. Yeah, I can't really make anything on the diamonds. I'd have to send it to a smelter, have it all smelted down for the gold. Probably could make a $10 profit. 15 bucks? Dude, this guy's trying to rook us. We can go someplace else. That's what all pawn shops do, right? I don't think you're ever going to take something to one and get anywhere close to what you paid for something, even if it's really valuable. You may suck our collective balls, sir. Collective balls. $8. Ugh. <laughs> This is the same bolo tie worn by King Henry V. Nine dollars. Just one dollar more. And why is there Grab cash the for gold Bell. Would you like Bell. to try our Doritos Locos Tacos? I want to see how much you'll give me for this gold and turquoise diamond bolo. Fourteen karat gold. Catch you fourteen dollars a gram on the open market. Got about four grams here. It's not really worth my time. I guess I can give you a six-layer burrito for it. <laughs> a six-layer burrito? You guys don't even make a six-layer burrito. <laughs> All right, a seven-layer burrito. Taco Bell, seven-layer burritos, just 99 cents. But that's as high as I'm going. It's all about chalupas for me. Dude, Chicken chalupas all day. my grandpa paid $6,000 for something barely worth anything. How does something like this happen? This is item number 4578111. I could never bring myself Look to buy from these channels. these stunning channels. earrings. These are genuine faux sapphire earrings. 14 karat gold, 86 karat faux sapphire. 86 karat faux sapphire, 14 karat gold, genuine beautiful earrings, regular price, six million for some faux sapphires. There's your red flag right there. 86 karat faux sapphire. You keep faux saying is faux. a French word. It's got an <laughs> X in it, but you don't even pronounce the X. How do you like that for prestigious? But These earrings normally means. go for six million dollars. <laughs> We're gonna sell these today for three hundred twenty dollars. That's a steal. Now oh, there go the phones. They're lighting up. Hello, who am I speaking with? Uh oh, my name is Vivian. Vivian, you just got a heck of a deal. What's your last name, sweetheart? Oh, I can't remember. You can't oh. remember. Well, can you remember your credit card number? Oh no. 
3714. Yeah. Hold on, Vivian. Don't we'll get it. you on with a rep. Take down that number. Thanks for shopping with us and congratulations. That's a damn shame. $1.26 million. Mm -hmm. We spoke to a big wholesaler. How did they get away with that? This is a new time. A new era of science that only the smartest can comprehend. For centuries, alchemists have tried to come up with the formula to make gold. Whoever could do it would, of course, become rich. And now, the chemical equation is right before our eyes. Guys with Cash for Gold signs gets you people's unwanted crappy jewelry, which, when added to a cable-based shopping network divided by demented old people, equals gold. Fuck a fuck up, dude. You're a fucking asshole. Oh, I'm an asshole <laughs> for doing that! You buying this as a gift, sir? No, I'm buying it as a gift for my grandson, Billy. <sighs> Grandpa? Not again. Fourteen ninety-five, easy pay. Easy pay, we call it that to save you time. EZ is an abbreviation of easy. <laughs> Fourteen ninety-five, easy pay, and what's that? Why is it necessary to tell people that easy is an abbreviation? What kind of sales presentation? But what they're nailing right now is that that's how those shopping network presentations are. It's just something to keep the conversation going, to keep showing this thing that you want to sell. Okay, all right, I just got word we are dropping the Z from Easy Pay. It's now just ePay. By using the word ePay instead of taking all that time to say Easy Pay, we're saving time now. you a second of time, and those seconds add up. Go ahead and try it. Say ePay 5,000 times. That's 5,000 seconds, nine hours. We just saved you here on J&G Shopping Network. This not wasting silly. your time here. You can't afford not to buy this one. You don't have a lot of time left, literally. That's an emerald on 14 karat gold. Don't you think your sister would like that? She doesn't like jewelry, Grandpa. Ha! <laughs> well, she will one day. She'll appreciate it. She's she's just a baby, after all. She's not a baby, Grandpa. She's 13. Hmm. Shelly's 13? Right. Right, boy. Did I ever tell you I used to have a border collie named Patches? Yes, Grandpa. I love that dog. She always made me so happy. When she died, I, I didn't let myself get too sad because I thought, thought I'd always have the memory of her slobbering happy face. I can't remember what she looked like, Billy. Oh, Grandpa. Don't worry, Grandpa. I'm going to take care of this. But hey, Craig, <laughs> going on? Token, bet your mom had some old jewelry she wouldn't notice missing. Get it, buddies. Hey, babe, <laughs> you got those rhinestones in your earrings? How about some walking cash? I can probably offer you a whip. Butters, what the fuck? Sorry, <laughs> my arm's hurt. My arm's hurt. Pick the fucking sign up, Butters. This is a business. How much will you give me for this? Oh, uh, three bucks. Okay. We got crappy jewelry, Butters. Now all we need are some old people. Thank you so much for your call. You just got yourself a heck of a deal on this one. You there, Marsha? Huh? I'm lost. No! I'm lost walking on the freeway. All right, you're lost walking on a freeway. Enjoy the Tiger's Eye Aquamarine bracelet. All right. Call somebody. What are you doing? Yeah, hi. Um, you should kill yourself. <laughs> What's that? I said you should kill yourself. What you do is sort of unjustifiable. I just read that the day shopping networks make most of their money is on the day seniors pick up social security checks. Kill yourself. All right, well, you shouldn't say things like that because some host of a jewelry channel sure might up and do it and then you'd feel really bad. No, I wouldn't. Yes, you would. No, because I really want you to kill yourself. <laughs> if a jewelry network host goes home tonight and blows brains out you might be liable that's a lawsuit worth 2.7 million dollars how's that sound i don't care what happens to me screen. i care about my grandfather you morally empty corrupted maggot <laughs> your only chance to right the wrongs you've done and repay all the elderly people whose lives you've destroyed is to kill yourself <laughs> he keeps saying it oh my god look at this you guys this is 200 carat brazilian emerald and plasticine ring I'm going to start the bidding for this ring at, um, let's see, Plasticine? $8 billion. $8 billion opening bid. We've got to sell this ring today. Tell you what, I'm going to take it down a little. We're going to drop that price to 
$75.95. At this price, it's not gonna last for long. Oh, we got a call already, Butters? Yes, you just bought this lovely 200 carat ring. How do you feel, Mrs. Stop taking advantage of Mrs. Applebee on 24 Palmar Lane. Can I ask you something, Mrs. Applebee? Do you like f little boys? I'm sorry? Just wondering if you f kids all the time, because that's what you just did with this deal. You just got an $8 billion <laughs> ring for 75 dollars what kind of putts? You fucked me good, Mrs. Appleby. Congratulations, ma'am. Thank you. Were you just flipping through the channels and saw me selling this ring and thought, mm, I'd like to fuck that kid? It's the dumb smile after. Thanks for shopping with us. I gotta go get the taste of old lady dick out of my mouth. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Man, that's good acting. I should get an award. <laughs> Sean Penn and Milk. And the Oscar goes to Sean Penn and Milk. Do you have any idea what it would feel like to start losing your memories? Isn't there a movie about Alzheimer's or dementia? With Anthony Hopkins, like I can't remember the name of the movie off the top of my head. But I heard it was really good, and I really want to see it. There's something funny going on. Do you have any idea what it would feel like to start losing your memories? No, because you don't scary. have someone in your life suffering from Alzheimer's. Well, I do. Look, kid, if you got a beef with the system, you're talking to the wrong people. All we do is smelter down what we get from the cash for gold places. Yeah? Well, there's an old Hindu saying. Whoever smelt it, dealt it. Yeah! I don't think that's for jewelry. The Hindu saying is actually Mai Nahi Chahatapani. What does that mean? Whoever denied it, supplied it. <laughs> Another one. You are the scums of the earth. Old people are victimized by shopping networks, and you kick back in your fat cat mansions making billions. We aren't making that much, fellas. Mm. The old Hindu saying is whoever smelt it, dealt it. Yeah, yeah that's, that's right. right. Nuh uh It's whoever denied it supplied it. You got it all wrong. The jewelry that those <laughs> shopping networks sell don't even come from us. It's all made in India. Where those Hindu rhymes come from? What are you saying, Gustav? My God, do you mean? That's right. Whoever made the rhyme did the crime. Dumb. <laughs> suck my bad, suck my bad. Hello? <laughs> Why did that make me laugh so much? It was such a random song. A random song for Cartman to be singing. I'm running a resale business, but I can't get enough of people's unwanted crappy jewelry to keep up, so I'd like to buy some of yours. Oh, you do so good business. You're so clever. I get bad. Let's see. I'm going to need some gold necklaces, diamond bracelets, and emerald earrings. Okay, what emerald do you like? Uh, I don't know. I guess I'll take that ring there. Oh, you make so good choice. Oh, it's beautiful. Look, it's beautiful. What's this? You got good eye. You so clever. I getting taken advantage. You like a fucking Asian lady? <laughs> you walk by my store and you say, "Oh, there's a nice Asian lady. I think I go in and I fuck her." You Asian lady, fuck you. Okay, quit the act. I'm not fucking you, and you know it. No, no, you fuck me. No, no, you fuck me. <laughs> fuck you. My bells, my bells, second drink. <laughs> You see, I'm looking to cut out the middleman. I want to buy my jewelry direct from you so that... Motherfuckers! You should be ashamed of the people in America that you are exploiting. You guys stole my formula, then tried to fuck me... Butters! Sorry! And then tried to fuck me out of your business. Somebody is at the head of all this, and somebody needs to pay. All I want is some goddamn retribution for my goddamn grandpa. Okay. No, not a diamond and gold necklace! <laughs> What's he doing? Music. 
It's getting louder. Actually, this might kind of work. So then we went to India, which is pretty cool, I guess. Never been there before. And we basically learned that whoever smelt it, denied it, and rhymed it actually dealt it. Oh, okay. sounds like you had a fun weekend. Anyway, Grandpa, I wanted to give you something. Oh, my God. There she is. Old Patches. Patches. There's that slobbering happy face. Thank you, Billy. That means a lot. Billy, that, that bolo tie you're wearing? Yeah? I don't know where you got that, but it's fucking, fucking gay, gay as fuck. fuck. <laughs> cool, I I won't wear it anymore. That's a good idea. Folks, these are not your average Peridot Crappinite earrings. These are 18 karat gold. <laughs> and we got, oh, do we have a buyer on the line? What are you waiting for? Kill yourself. All right, God damn it, we got another comedian. <laughs> Ever since that little kid called up, now everybody wants to call and tell me I should kill myself. He was right. Do it. Folks, this is an 800 number. Every time you call and tell me to kill myself, it's costing us $2.36. So now how about a call who wants to buy jewelry? Yes, hello, sir? You're too scared to do it, aren't you? You don't have the balls. God damn it, I'm not scared to do it. You got lady balls. <laughs> I'm calling about the Peridot earrings. Yes, ma'am. They'd look good on your dead body. Why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's that. That there's the the straw that broke the camel's back. We uh may need emergency surgery in the studio. <laughs> I thought this episode was smart and it was thoughtful, especially the stuff with Stan's grandpa. It really does make you feel something. And the weird thing about the episode is I think it had little moments that made me laugh more than I was expecting to because South Park is usually right in your face and that's what makes you laugh. But yeah, this one got me in some other moments, but I really enjoyed it. Thank you so much for recommending it. If you enjoyed this reaction, please make sure to give this video a like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.